yeah, I feel good. I feel really good. I'm, uh, I'm back to 100% and feel healthy, ready to roll. The amazingly talented running back Christian McCaffrey is coming off of a disappointing 2020 season. It's quite incredible when you consider that right before last season was ruined by a series of injuries, he had a fantastic 2019. That year, he led the NFL in yards from scrimmage, total touchdowns, and total touches. Also that year, he became the third player in the league's history to hit 1,000 rushing yards minimum and another minimum 1,000 receiving yards, all in the same season. Again that year, he recorded over 1,000 rushing yards with no less than 100 receptions, making him the only NFL player to ever do that. I might say he hit that 1,000 yard record twice just to assure anyone who thought it was a fluke that it wasn't. Now as far as pro salary basis goes, he is the highest earning running back in the NFL. And with such a status, you probably don't really care about what critics or other players are saying about you. I mean, how could you when the achievements are so loud? Anyways, there are so many football lovers and Panthers fans who still want to know what other players think of the high-flying Christian McCaffrey. Well, in this video, I'll be revealing all this to you. However, before we go deep into it, make sure you leave a like on this video if you're a fan of the superstar running back that is Christian McCaffrey. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment on the hidden message. Now, before I go into what other players are saying, there is one fascinating piece about our star runner from Mike Bloomgren, the Stanford offensive coordinator. The man disclosed that he watched a practice where a particular linebacker from the Cardinal scout tried to cover McCaffrey. Without being too blunt, it turned out badly for the linebacker. And to be honest, Bloomgren said it wasn't actually a fair matchup. He saw the guy position himself to the best of his knowledge for McCaffrey's deadly setup move. But unfortunately, the results were always the same result. Christian always got him. Without sounding like he was mocking the poor linebacker, Bloomgren disclosed that the whole thing was laughable because the defensive player kept failing to cover him. And you can only imagine the situation with the intelligent Stanford kid stubbornly saying, he won't get me again, only to lose again. Anyways, Bloomgren now sees and knows what fans and anyone who follows the Panthers know. McCaffrey's moves are unstoppable. And Jonathan Stewart put it best when he said that the youngster's setup move is very deadly. The move is the same tool McCaffrey used to beat Luke Kukli, the Pro Bowl linebacker, as well as Thomas Davis and countless others. When Stewart declared that no player in the NFL could stop McCaffrey in a one-on-one, -on -one, he made headlines. Why? Because they knew it was the truth. So how did this man pick up this style of play? Christian revealed that the move was natural. He went further to say he had picked it up as a kid while playing with his older brothers in the backyard. Apparently, having little grass to play with meant that he had to make the most of it, and that he did. Another person who's had something to say about McCaffrey is Roger Craig, a legend back in his playing days as a running back. Craig believes that the youngster will always be a dependable player when it comes to offensive play, especially when it concerns catch throws and getting carries. The legend, who being a former running back, understands what it takes to play at the level that McCaffrey does, also believes that he can maintain his current level throughout his career. He said that McCaffrey had the tools necessary for it in his DNA. Now these words of praise coming from Roger Craig is definitely another set of proof that the young player is doing something really spectacular. And, of course, just a clip at one of his videos would make you think along those lines. I mean, just the way he sets up players and linebackers is so sudden. It's like he did a bit of psychology and thus understands how to manipulate defenses with body language, deceiving them with a false story. And suddenly, he comes out of that move causing a significant separation that leaves the defender helpless. Now, it's only fair that we hear from the side of expert linebackers who've been there in the thick of things. And so it was quite interesting to see Carolina coach Ron Rivera admit that Christian had the upper hand in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. How can anyone even dispute that? I mean, this is a man who played professionally as a linebacker in his glory days. The coach did go further to advise that if you're a linebacker saddled with the stressful business of covering McCaffrey, you want to be able to call other linebackers to your aid, because you'll need it. There is really no denying the fact that the Carolina Panthers running back is very talented. For a fact, the numbers he's put up so far would actually make him as good as, say, Ezekiel Elliott and Todd Gurley combined. Yeah, I know you probably think that's absurd, but stay with me here. 
In the 2019 season around October, McCaffrey recorded 866 yards from scrimmage. Both Elliott and Gurley together had 816, which means he had 50 more yards than them both. Now, during that time, people were making comparisons, and Gurley happened to be on the list. When Gurley heard the comparisons, his approach was credible as he made a point of praising his fellow running back. Gurley went on social media and stated that the pundits and anyone making the comparisons should keep him out of it. He went further to declare that McCaffrey was unstoppable in the post. So, I mean, really? This superstar has done enough already to convince anyone that he was going to be great. It's only a matter of being able to put aside your pride to admit it. Now, McCaffrey is only 25, and he's been hot from the start, too. In the three seasons he spent at Stanford, he recorded 99 catches in 1,206 yards, as well as 10 touchdowns. This record, coupled with about 3,922 yards rushing, and you can no longer doubt him. Back to Bloomgren, the coordinator's compliments, he stated that the youngster's quality could be measured based on the number of players who could replace him. And his own personal answer was zero. I think a lot of people, including NFL players, can agree with that. And that's how we bring an end to today's video. So what are your thoughts on Christian McCaffrey? Why do you think he is so good? Do you think that one day he'll be named as the GOAT of the NFL? Do you agree that it would be hard to replace him, and do you believe he has the ability to exceed his performances in previous years? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and hit that notification bell to ensure you don't miss out on our next video and other videos. Thanks for watching, until next time, keep safe.